whole world is talking about now. The hack of the DNC emails and now the Clinton servers. Everyone's going to blame the Russians. I mean, the media is <laughs> hooking that pitch hook, line, and sinker. But let's talk about the facts. The facts are in 2008, Barack Obama and the Clinton family went after each other. They still hate each other. They still, to this day, despise each other. As a matter of fact, um, Michelle Obama and Valerie Jarrett, if you know who she is, that's uh, Obama's handler from Iran. That's why Iran got all these sweetheart deals. They have a name for Hillary Clinton. They call her Hilda Beast. Not only that, Obama knows if Clinton gets in office, he's done. Not only will all his um, executive orders be overturned, and a lot of people will be like, what the hell are you talking about? He was just out there in the DNC giving a speech for it. That's, that's all this you know, show business and politics. That They have to do that stuff. The real issue here is if Clinton wins, she is the new head of the Democratic Party. She's picking all the cronies within the party infrastructure. Yet, if Clinton loses, Obama is still the head of the Democratic Party. Obama and his machine is still running the show for four more years, at least. So what does that tell you? That tells you he has a lot of motivation. Now, a question would be, why didn't he indict her? I mean, he runs the government. He could have ordered the FBI to do it. Yeah, you're right. He could have. And who would have been Hillary Clinton's first witness at her trial? The President of the United States. Mr. President, did you ever get emails from that server? What are you going to do? That's it. So that's not an option. They had to let her. They made her look real bad. I mean, the FBI director gave her a scathing review. So right after that, forces that wanted Clinton to get an office um, did something in Dallas. You can connect the dots yourself. That took all the press away from Clinton. All of a sudden, the forces on the other side dumped all the emails to get it back on Clinton. Now, the news networks, which are aff affiliated with Clinton are starting to push the narrative that it's the Russians. Get it off the subject. This is what you call political chess. If Clinton loses, you're going to see Obama versus Trump <laughs> for another decade. You don't see that's how they've been positioning themselves? If Trump wins... Barack Obama's star power does not diminish at all. If Clinton wins, you best believe Obama's going to be sidelined. This is how the game works. These are how the stakes. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. So by talking all this nonsense that Obama is about Trump now, he's actually propping the guy up. People who don't like Obama automatically are going to go to Trump. He's helping him. Again, a lot of people don't understand, but understand how the game works at a root level. They want to empower themselves. If Clinton wins, Obama is sidelined. He is the one released information. And now you know.